What's going on, guys? Drunk Baby Yoshi here. Uh, I already screwed up with uh, not uploading an episode <laughs> last week. Uh, I worked 14 days straight at my job uh, due to different reasons with uh, people being sick and whatnot. Uh, but we are back with episode 2. Um, we're going to hopefully keep these episodes going weekly. Um, so I hope you guys enjoy. Let's get into the, the, the finds. We did find some stuff this week. $80 for an Xbox One or an Xbox 360? The yikes in my book. Get the freak out of here with that. $40 for a Wii? Nothing at that one for five dollars a piece. I ain't spending that on those junk games. The thing that makes me mad the most though is when you're looking at it like a row of games and some dude comes up and stands right next to you and starts scanning them. Like, what? You're not a collector. We're striking out left and right today. Nothing at that one. Well, that was uh, another big fat L. Uh, from the footage, they had Excite Bike for $45. And I did tell them at the pawn shop, it's not that. And Def Jam 5 from New York was in there, and I need that. Uh, they had 70 on it, which isn't, that's about what it goes for in this. But it was destroyed. Um, so, on to the next. Nothing yet, big goose. So, I just stopped at a. Small little gaming store. I had to get something this week, okay? I really did. I was going to be so upset. Um, it's called the Gaming Grotto. Uh, and I picked up this guy here. Custom Robo. It's listed at 50 I got it for $45. Um, getting harder to find GameCube stuff, so might as well pick it up. I couldn't film in there because it was, it's a really small store. So on to the next one. Hopefully we find something else.
I have every single one. I collect for certain ones though. I just I I have everything. I'd say this stuff's better than that stuff <laughs> myself. These two don't have prices on them. So I don't know how much of that you were able to see in there. I thought they just had the, for the longest time, I thought that store just had like a little spot in the back, which I didn't film. They're like, no, we got five link cabinets full and I pull it out and it's just riddled with games. And I actually found some stuff finally. Finally! Uh, we got Sonic Battle Adventure 2 for the GameCube. Bad Boys for the GameCube. And Lord of the Rings The Third Age for the GameCube. I paid $5 a piece for these. I don't care what game it is for the GameCube. I'm paying $5 a piece every day of the week. Five bucks for GameCube games. Woo! It's looking like a GameCube week, I guess. I'll see you guys in the next one. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed that. Welcome to the pickup portion of the video. Um, I just have a couple things here. Um, not not too exciting. Uh, there are some good stuff in here though. I will say. So at the um, place with the drawers, the big filing cabinet full of games, uh, we found uh, a ton of stuff. I, I wanted to pick up more, but a lot of it was incomplete and it was destroyed. And actually, one of these games I wish I wouldn't have picked up now. Um, but anyways, we have Lord of the Rings, the uh, three, eight, the third age, excuse me. It is complete. This is like a $15 game, I think. We have Bad Boys Miami Takedown. This is also complete. And then this is the one I regret grabbing, even though they were five bucks a piece. Five bucks a piece ain't bad. Um, this is S Sonic 2 Adventure Battle. I already have this game actually, and I didn't know that. Uh, but the disc is just, just donezo, as you can see down there in the bottom corner. Um, I don't know if this is gonna play or what I'm gonna do with this, but I have it now, so that's cool. And then two pickups you didn't see. Uh, well, no, you did. I did talk about this, I think. Anyways, went to a game store and this was sitting there. It was marked at 48 or something like that. They gave it to me for 45. The only reason I picked it up is it is kind of hard to find. That is custom robo for the GameCube. It's like a $50 game, so. Uh, it is complete though, because I only, com I only try to get complete games. <laughs> And then the last one that you didn't see at all that I'm pretty happy that I found at my local game store. Um, I wish this was in a little bit better condition, but that's fine. Uh, I'm going, for, as you know, I have a complete Wii U, so I'm going for variants now. Uh, so, like, different Amiibo bundles and stuff. And I actually found this locally. I, I'm glad I didn't have to order it online. This is the Tokyo Mirage Sessions FE Special Edition for the Wii U. Um, it is opened... Unfortunately, I, I would have liked to have it sealed. I paid 40 for this. Um, but everything is in here. You got the soundtrack. Whoops, whoops. That way. Um, looks to be never opened. Um, the game is sealed. So that's that's a positive part. Um, you got this sweet art book. And then there is a couple more things in here. The sticker pack. This was another thing that I was glad to see not used. Um, and then we got some codes for DLC and stuff. Um, because if this would have been used, I probably wouldn't have picked this up. And if the game would have been open, I probably wouldn't have picked it up also. But it being sealed um, and complete, uh, it's kind of rough around the edges. Um... But I'm happy to have it finally. And I didn't have to pay like 60, 70 bucks like people want for them online. They come up all the time. And every time I try to snag one for under 50, it's it's gone instantly. But happy to have that now. Uh, next week hopefully will be better. 
Um, I'm not working 14 days in a row. Um, so thanks for all tuning in, and I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya.